guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Bruce, and it's kind of late. Um, I kind of woke up really late, and so, yeah. <laughs> um, so I am in my work uniform. I'm just in some scrubs. Uh, I am about to head off to work in about 30-ish minutes, um, and I thought that would be kind of fun to do a uh, quick little fun video on all the plants that I've killed. Now, I'm trying to position myself to where I look Good. <laughs> Do I look better here? Was I too close to the camera here? Huh. All right, so I think I'll just stand here. At least like I get a little bit uh, better lighting here. Uh, I'm gonna try to not talk with my hands as much because it seems like the more that I talk with my hands, um, the more that the camera doesn't focus. Uh, so as you can see, right behind me is two windows. Um, Usually during the day, whenever I try to film, these two windows usually wipe me out. And so, um, yeah. So, going to go ahead and move on to the video. Um, I feel so bad because there's so many plants I feel like I wasn't ready to get because I was still such a plant uh, newbie that I went in a little too deep and uh, I killed some really expensive plants. Um, one of them was the Phylodendron Gigas. Uh, I bought that one from, uh, I forgot what her handle was on Etsy, but basically uh, her new website is called Botanica R Us. Um, I bought that from her. I think it was about around $90 at the time. This was again last year when I was uh, starting to get into collecting uh, plants. And uh, well, well, when I first got it, it had uh, a really good root system. Um, I don't know if, uh, if I just wasn't watering enough or what was happening. Uh, all the bottom leaves yellowed out, they fell off, and then the tip, uh, it was so weird. The new growth for the tip, it's like it started to dry out towards the base, but then it kept on growing, but the dried part kept the actual leaf from growing and so it snapped itself in half and then the base started drying out and uh, but the soil was still wet i don't know it was really weird like i said the root system was really good but the plant overall just didn't like me it just ended up committing suicide the next plant was actually my anthurium warroquinum or my queen anthurium um i also bought that one from uh botanica r oz and I feel so sad. When I first got it, it was super great. It was super gorgeous. And at the time, uh, I was reading somewhere or people were saying that uh, you shouldn't touch the plant. You should let it sit for about a week. You shouldn't do anything to it when you first get it. And so I left it in the sphagnum moss for about a week. Well, when I finally got to it, um, the sphagnum moss was completely dried out. Because uh, when I first got it, it felt pretty damp. And... About a week later, the sphagnum moss was pretty dried out. I couldn't tell if the roots uh, were so dried out because of me or if there were any roots at all in the first place. And so after that, I spent a lot of time trying to rehab it. And so I just stuck into some sphagnum moss and I just kept on trying to water it whenever I could. And for the next couple of months, it was actually doing really well. Like it was staying alive, it was drying out, uh, but it wasn't really doing anything. And I think it was just trying to really establish its roots. Uh, but like I said, like it wasn't really dying until Thanksgiving. So Thanksgiving, I went home for about a week or about a week and a half. I had to leave a little bit earlier because we were uh, expecting a huge, huge uh, snowstorm. So I left a little bit early and my roommate was watching over my plants. Let me just say, never let anybody who doesn't know anything about plants watch your plants. Um, I came back. The moss was so dried out, the leaf looked like it was about to die over, like it just wasn't doing well. Um, when I checked its roots, it looks like over the last couple of months, it did actually produce a really good strong root. Like it looked pretty thick, but because it seemed like it never got any water during the entire week that I was gone, um, the root was gone. Like it was... It was basically like it, it seemed like it was just rotted like it was it was just gone um that one was one of my sadder um uh, kills only because it was intentional like it was doing really really well and it was acclimating to uh, almost little to no humidity at my last place and uh yeah sad face <laughs> uh, 
So the next plant was actually, um, I feel like there's another uh, Aroid that I killed and I, what was it? Anyways, I'll, I'll just move on away from Aroids. Um, Aroids overall hasn't really done to, oh! So this is my Philodendron Pasozanum from NSC Tropicals. Um, it's not exactly dead, but you might as well call it dead. Uh, when I first got it, it was doing great, and then all of a sudden it got infested with spider mites, and then it kept on dropping its leaves, and then now it's just reduced to the stump. It keeps on trying to push out a new uh, growth point, but it just doesn't want to survive. Another problem plan that I had was my Philodendron Milano Chrysum. Uh, for some reason, it's like... I got one from Logies, and then that one got infested with spider mites. I think it came with it because when I got it, it was basically like that golden brownie color um, that it starts getting when it does have spider mites. And then there was another cutting that I got from one of my friends in a plant swap a while ago. And when I went home for Thanksgiving, that one also uh, didn't do too, too well. Um, another one that's really not doing too well is my Valodendron El Choco Red. Um, I killed one of them, and that one was from Botanica R Us, but when I first got it, the roots were not good. I think she was just making quick sale with that one. Like, the roots were black, like, it was peeling off, it just wasn't doing well. Um, so I bought another one from a good friend of mine, and she... So it is me for a pretty good price. I got it in. It had uh, very small roots, and it's doing. It did well, and then I went through a heat wave recently, and it just is not doing too well. And so right now, it's like Aroids and I are not getting along. So again, that's just pushing me more into Hoyas. Um, I did try to order some Hoyas over the winter season, and uh, let me just say, don't do that. Um, I ordered a Hoya Sunrise from Hoya Hao uh, over the winter season, and I think this was in January. Uh, January was when we really got a really bad frost uh, when I was still living in Boulder, and it just, it came in with such bad cold damage that the next day it was basically gone. Like, I opened it right away after I got it, but after I uh, opened it, you could tell that there was really bad cold damage. I tried to rehab it, it just... It just went down the sink, and it just died, and... <laughs> made me cry. Um, the next Hoya that didn't do too well was actually uh, Hoya Kameen Gianna. Uh, I got that one from Lindsay Renee, and that was actually my first Hoya from her, and... I don't know what was wrong with that one, honestly. Like, I watered it, I tried to water it, I just don't think that I was watering it enough. I think it was one of those Hoyas that needs more frequent watering, and I just wasn't used to that. Um, so that one died pretty fast-ish. Um, that one died within about a week. Um, and then, uh, as I've started to decline, I started throwing it onto my death shelf. Um, because... I can't really see anything on my top shelf, and so I call that one my death shelf because at that point I basically have given up, and it just all depends on the plant if it wants to make it or not, and obviously it didn't. Um, I think that might be about it. I mean, besides uh, all my basic uh, Hoya, or not Hoyas, all of my basic plants that I did have before. So when I first went to the nursery uh, locally and when I was buying plants, uh, those ones, well, let's just say that I don't have any of those anymore. They all died. Uh, those were like my peace lily. That was my uh, oxalis, some calatheas. Like they were some of the basics of the basics. Um, yeah. Yeah. Oh. I think I'm losing light. Is this better? Anyways, uh, I think it's about time for me to uh, head off to work or start getting ready for work. I pretty much have packed my food and yeah. Thank you guys so much for uh, tuning in. Uh, go ahead and drop a comment down below if you guys have killed any plants that you guys were really sad about and still crying about inside. But yeah, 
Until next time, thank you guys so much for watching. Bye-bye.